Hey there, let's have a look at uh, color styles in CorelDRAW X4. Let's say we're designing a quick little poster for the construction industry, something like that. And the goal is to only use two colors. In this case, we've got a brown and a black. So if we're looking for a graphic to put in this place here, what I might suggest is uh, going to a new blank document. I just found a, a bitmap I found on the internet, RGB 84 DPI. We're going to assume that all copyrights have been approved for something like this. Um, but anyways, it's, it's, if we zoom in on it, we can see it's kind of rough shape, whatever. What we're going to do is convert this to vector shapes using Power Trace, using the clip art uh, tracing mode. And let's see what happens here. Going to um, merge colors that are the same, remove object overlap. We don't need the original image. Uh, we're going to leave the background there for the moment. Actually, we can get rid of that. Let's see uh, if we want to do that. Now let's go for it. Okay, so now we've got a group of nine objects. Open the Color Styles Docker. Uh, we can drag and drop that in there, and what will happen is it'll split it off into various colors. Now we could drag and drop our our um, colors into there if we wanted, but there's another way. We're going to actually have it auto create color styles and that way it's going to categorize certain colors under a hierarchy. I think that's how you say that anyway. So let's do a preview here and you can see it's only splitting into three, you might say, color families here. So I'm going to hit OK. Now at this point uh, it's, it's, there's uh, three colors there but what I'm going to do is drag and drop some colors out of this Pantone mini palette that I've made for myself for the project and you'll see what happens. I'm just going to drag and drop that black in there it uh, doesn't look like there's a whole lot using that color. It's coming along. I'm going to drag that brown to that orange. All right, let's say uh, we're happy with that. But just to show you what's happening here, if I hit uh, Control-P, go to the Separations tab, you can see that there's only two colors there, and that's good. So now I'm going to select it all. Um, it's already a group, so I'm just going to put it on the clipboard, head on over to my other document, paste it in and uh, everything's looking good. In this case, I'm going to flip this around uh, like that, put it over here, send it to the back, bring it up, and we can see that uh, you know it's going to be a bit of a problem. What I'm going to do in the interim here is just check to see how it's separating. And it's, uh, it is only separating to two plates, so I'm encouraged by that. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to actually try putting a, a linear transparency on here. Uh, to see if, see what happens to the plates in this case. Okay, well, let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious. How about that? It's only two printing plates. And I think uh, as of X3, they allowed the interactive transparency tool to be able to do that. Let's have a quick look at those plates. Um, I guess we could change our orientation here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where is it on my system here? Paper, basics, landscape. This is uh, actually just a PCL driver for this unit here. Separations, print separations, apply. Okay, so we're looking at this would be the brown color. And if we page down here, uh, that would be the black plate. And you can see that I've overprinted uh, the black text here uh, over the, the brown. So if we get out of here, uh, I'm going to hit cancel. Uh, this is now a two-color job. We very quickly found some artwork. I mean, you could always go in and delete those uh, um, interior white pieces were inside the wood there if you wanted, but I'm actually quite impressed with uh, what we got out of Corel Draws color styles.